dear friends welcome to pms insights the indian stock markets continue to do well over the last 3 months with a broad based rally across large mid and small caps better than expected economic recovery continuous fii inflows amid global liquidity government reforms during the pandemic and growth focused budget announcements drove the markets pushing up valuations. Few of the reasons that keep us constructive on the markets include the ongoing strong economic recovery, robust earnings growth and potential earnings upgrades, and stable domestic bond yields. However, at the current nifty valuations of 20 times FY23 earnings, we need to stay cognizant of the key risks including weaker than expected recovery in the discretionary consumption demand, higher than expected inflation leading to reversal of monetary policy, and risk of sustenance of margins as commodity prices move up and the businesses scale up operations to normal levels. While these risks, if they play out, could potentially delay the recovery by a few quarters, we can't ignore that COVID seems to have fast-paced some of the structural changes both at micro as well as macro levels that could lead to broad-based non-linear earnings growth in the medium term. Few of these themes that we are constructive on include consolidation across sectors and shift from unorganized to organized sector, rise of domestic manufacturing in the country, cyclical revival of real estate, digitization, and relative outperformance of small and mid caps. The Q3 FY21 earnings for most companies surprised on the upside for second consecutive quarter, led by higher than expected underlying demand and margin surprise led by cost optimization initiatives across India inclusive. Nifty earnings grew by 18.5% in Q3 FY21 we saw sharp earnings upgrade of around 19% for FY21, 9% for FY22, and 6% for FY23, driven by earnings surprises and positive outlook. The upgrades have been broad based, with metals, autos, financials, industrial cyclicals seeing most upgrades. While the demand recovery was sharp during the last quarter, with revenues coming back to pre-COVID levels in most cases, its resilience will get tested over the next few months as the recent increase in COVID cases is leading to a fear of more stringent measures by the administration. In core equity portfolio, around 80% of companies delivered results above or in line with estimates and 20% of companies delivered results below estimates. As seen in the table, the top 10 holdings outperformed the benchmark by 7.5% and earnings growth outlook for the top 10 holdings is improving going ahead with most companies expected to grow earnings in double digits. Coming to the last quarter results, average EBITDA growth for the portfolio was significantly ahead of the benchmark at 19% growth for the portfolio versus 6.9% for the benchmark. The new additions to the portfolio include Apollo Tricode, Aztec Life Sciences, HG Infra, and PNG Health and Hygiene. Most of these stocks have outperformed the benchmark since their purchase. Thank you.